Hey, what's going on? This is Liam from Tinnitus Treatment, and I want to make a quick, well, not so quick, but intensive video today. Uh, it's been, it's come to my attention. A few people have told me that there's a small minority of people who are basically accusing my methods of not working, and based on the fact that they believe my methods don't work, they think that I'm some sort of scam artist or something like that, which is just absolutely beyond me when you simply look at the reviews and the testimonials that I get it doesn't really make sense, but I think I understand where these people are coming from, so I'm going to address that. I'm going to actually go and have a look at some of these comments, and it's on a public forum, and it's on one of the public forums that I tell people to basically avoid because of literally the negativity that goes on there, and it's just a small minority of people. A lot of the times, these health forums are really good, but we're going to get into that, but before we do, I want to say one quick thing, and that is that I know that the people who wrote those comments are going to be watching this video, and I just want to say it's absolutely fine. You can say whatever you want. It's, when somebody puts himself out there and says, hey, I've got this solution for this, I've got a solution for that, you're going to get scrutiny and I completely accept that. And you can absolutely say anything you want. That's absolutely your right. YouTube is a public space. The forums are a public space. You're entitled to have your opinion. That's absolutely fine. But what's not okay is when you start bringing other people down and disempowering other people who are just looking for hope and looking for a solution for a horrible ailment, which is tinnitus. And I think it's absolutely fine. You can call me whatever you want. That's absolutely fine. I can take it, okay? I was born and raised in Melbourne, Australia, not like the wussiest place in the world, so I can handle that. It's absolutely fine. Um, but other people who are looking for a solution, um, instead of the, the um, pathway to fixing tinnitus being clear, you're diluting it and you're confusing people and there's so much noise coming in and they get stressed out and their tinnitus gets worse. So the other thing is I'm not trying to prove these people wrong. If you're watching this right now, I'm not trying to prove you wrong. I know I'm not going to prove you wrong simply because I know that you're, what you're thinking about tonight is what you think about my approach. It's based emotionally because I, I, I see it in a way that you, you've obviously got tinnitus and you just dispel anything before you do any research into it. And I know that it comes from a place of fear, but understand that if you have tinnitus, it's not your fault. There's nothing, you shouldn't be blaming yourself for having tinnitus, absolutely not. You shouldn't be blaming, you. if anyone, you can blame the doctors, you can blame um, doctors for giving you bad medications, you can blame the medical industry, which is completely corrupt, I completely agree. And you've got to remember, I was a victim of these scams as well, like tinnitus 911 and all this different stuff, which like doesn't even work. I tried that stuff. I traveled the world, I did all this stuff to figure it out, and I went through an incredible amount of bullshit and scams, literally scams, like which is fraudulent selling crap, and I get what it is, but it's not okay to take it out on other people. It's not okay when someone comes in um, to just crush their hope. And when, so when someone comes in and says, hey, is there a solution for tonight if I do this or do that? There's a very small minority of people, but it's always the 80-20 principle that the 20% of people account for 80% of the talk and they just scream out no. It's not going to work. This doesn't work. And I think that it's very negative and it's not a very, you're not creating an environment which is conducive to finding a solution. And I think that these people are stuck and I actually feel sorry for you if you're watching this video. A, because I know you have tinnitus and I know how much that sucks. Just reach out to me for help. Just, sus just suspend your disbelief for a second. Send me an email for help. I'd be more than happy to help you. So let's get into the um, comments right now. I'm going to do it on my phone. Uh, and once again, Okay, so it's recording now. Just make sure this is recording. Cool. So, uh, you can obviously see what uh, forum this is on. And so somebody says, typical, someone has tinnitus. Obviously, they've, they've probably looked at my YouTube channel or, some, or just found it online. And does anyone know if dry fasting helps quieten down tinnitus? Okay. Someone just asks a question like that. And someone says, why do you have this idea? And this is a public forum, so I'm not going to cover your names. I didn't even have an account. I used to have an account, but my concept kept getting deleted. Do you wonder why? Da, 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 da. And then someone, I think that's when you quote someone. Does anyone know if uh, fasting helps quieten down tinnitus? And then someone says, you can only try to find out the answer. What works for one doesn't work for another. So all you can do is give it a go. Fantastic fucking response. This is the way it's supposed to be. Like, absolutely. And then someone else says, um, maybe you can be our guinea pig. Try it out and let us know how it goes. See, this is how it's supposed to be. This is absolutely fucking perfect on tinnitus forums and forums on anything. It's like, hey, here's this idea. You know, let's just do it. Let's just give it a crack. Let's run in full steam. Give it a go. That's what I did. And that's how I found a solution for my tinnitus. 
Um, and then someone says, "Will I think it's supposed to? I think they're trying to say, will it only work if tinnitus is caused by eating so bad diet?" Um, that's a shame. It's the same person who's gone and said that. And then they say, um, "Eating induced tinnitus," and then palm on the face, which obviously means you know there's no such thing as eating tinnitus. I'm pretty sure, which is fucking stupid. It's wrong. You can get tinnitus from poor diet. I mean, it's called lactic acidosis. When you consume sugar and you burn sugar as an energy, there's waste products which affect your liver that cause your pH levels to go out of whack. Inflammation goes through the fucking roof. And the number one way to get rid of that inflammation is fasting. The autophagy effect, effect kicks in, okay? Your, cell, your cells start to replenish. You, you probably have a localized autoimmune attack. Your body is attacking your liver or your pancreas because it's really causing problems and you, your body is confused we're not supposed to eat sugar so your body doesn't know what to do when you get when you eat sugar let me give you an example if you cut your hand your body knows exactly what to do physical injury let's get some white blood cells in there we'll heal it with a scab and then the scab just drops off perfectly systemized that's been going on for thousands of years hundreds of thousands of years in our species whatever you want to call the evolution so the body has figured that out the body hasn't figured out how to deal with um, all this bad food that we're eating and so what happens is um, your body starts to attack your own liver and your own pancreas. It to have a localized, people think that autoimmune disease is all of the body. It's, it can be localized, mostly in the liver because the liver is where um, all the waste products go and your liver gets overwhelmed because it's supposed to only be dealing with um, plant-based waste products, maybe some uh, fungus, um, some foreign objects that you accidentally ate as well, like parasites, stuff like that. But it's not supposed to be dealing with refined sugar, um, high uh, fructose corn syrup, alcohol, all that sort of stuff. So you can get, and then your ears start ringing because you get a serious problem. And your, your ringing in your ears is a sign that something very bad is about to escalate. Tinnitus is just a warning signal. So you can get it from food, that's wrong. And then here we go. Does anyone know if dry fasting, so Tony Philactu, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Um, and then he just basically goes on to quote what's in my free ebook. Cool makes sense um, and then someone qu quoted GH and said his point was that in his opinion it won't work for anyone I'm not sure if that's quoting me or someone else um, okay so please ignore above they come from unreliable source I'm not sure if they're talking about the GH up here or maybe if they're talking about me it's not an unreliable source it's actually a clinical study and it's proven from the people that I've helped get results, okay? Let's see. Contrast. I'm not sure what the star... Hall of Fame, so they spend a lot of time on tinnitus talk, which is probably not a good thing because they said, Liam Bohm is a scammer preying on tinnitus sufferers. I will do something on exploiting him later like I did Tanaki. Okay, that sounds great. Because I failed to get to this thread in time the normies are having a genuine discussion about bullshit see this is where the problem comes from this guy contrast or girl um is calling people who want to find a solution for tinnitus normies so they're categorizing people who have hope and have the desire to get rid of tinnitus that's a problem if if you say liam's an idiot doesn't know what he's talking about blah 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 that's, you know, I can handle that, but it's still running the risk of deterring other people from just trying what's on my YouTube channel, just giving it a go. Like this person at the top, who's like, just give it a go. Like, fuck yeah. Awesome. Thank you, GH, for saying that. Just give it a go. Any other person too. Um, but when you go and say stuff, like you categorize people who have hope, I don't understand. Like, I really just don't understand what your goal is. And I think I have, um, I've kind of thought about it because I saw this, I got sent this last night. I think this is recent Wednesday. Um... And I think what's going on is, you know, this person obviously has tinnitus, which is awful. I do feel bad for this person. And I think what's happening, it's kind of like a metaphor. Like they, they've accepted that it's going to happen. They truly believe that there's no way out, but they kind of think there might be a little bit of hope, but they're scared of looking silly or they're scared of the fear that the solution was there the whole time and they didn't have to live with tinnitus. So it's kind of like if you're in a room like this, filling slowly with water and there's this person and like five other people and, um, it's filling with water and you're going to drown eventually and you're all there and the water is a metaphor for tinnitus getting worse as it rises and you're all going to die but you wouldn't die from tinnitus um and then you're there and some other people are saying hey we should try that hatch in the roof and you're like no no no, no let's not try it it's uh, you know it's locked how do you know so i just know okay i just know 
that it's locked. Uh, trust me, I've been around the block. I know that it's locked. And said, well, have you tried to open it? It's like, no, I just know. And then they try and talk about other methods. And you go, no, no, no. No, you, you're, all, you're all normies. You don't know what you're talking about. Trust me, it's locked. And then you scream louder and more confidently and you, you sound like you know what you're talking about. So everybody listens and everybody goes down with the ship. Okay? Because you've decided that that's the way it's going to be. Whether it's based on fear or just, you know, some sort of internal hurt. And that's, you know, shame. Robbing. Does anyone know if dry fasting helps quiet down tinnitus? It is good that you asked. It is a scam based on our team members' info. So I'm, I don't really understand what tinnitus... I'm guessing it's a tinnitus talk members' info. Um, it's not a scam. It works. It works amazingly well as long as you tie it in with good diet, exercise. Because when you fast, you've got to remember, you start kicking toxins. So you have to, your lymphatic system has to be able to get rid of the toxins. That's why when your tinnitus starts to fluctuate, it's because the toxins are moving throughout your lymphatic system, normally through the left ear, and it will go from ear to ear. So if you have it in one ear for the whole of your life, and you start using my method, and it goes to another ear, that's good. Because that means that it's not a localized issue it's somewhere around here and it means that it's moving around and so it's affecting different parts of your body and so it's moving from you should be if you give it in one ear and you start following it my guide my advice and it goes to another ear you should thank the fucking lord because it's not noise trauma tinnitus which is incredibly hard to get rid of way harder than anything else okay because if it's going from ear to ear it means that it doesn't have to do with your ear it means that it's a different issue and you're slowly getting rid of it because it's like if you imagine it's just circling a drain and there's like section A and section B. And you got this, it's like a toilet. And you've got this like clump of shit in section A of the toilet. And then you're like, you know what? I'm going to start fasting. So you press the flush and it starts circling. But as it starts circling, it goes A, B, A, B, A, B until it's gone. That's what it's kind of like. So it's not a scam at all. Liam Boehm is a scammer preying on tinnitus sufferers. Okay, so it's the same thing. Ah, ha, ha. I just watched a video. What an arrogant asshole. Don't drink tap water. Drink Fiji water. Okay, well, you know, maybe you should look into the science of why you shouldn't be drinking tap water, but that's okay. I'm happy to tell you the science behind it, even though it's in my videos. Maybe you should have watched more than one video. So, um, most people today, let's talk about tap water and why I promote uh, Fiji water especially. Okay, so I think we're done with this. Is there a page two? That's it. Okay, cool. So, um, just, just to end this, um, I'll talk about tap water and then we'll end it there but the thing with tap water is it has fluoride and it can have all sorts of shit like fluoride fluorine and it can have traces of bromine in it as well now here's the thing if you look at the periodic table in the halogen section you'll see fluoride bromine um, chloride chlorine and iodine in the halogen table and if you look at the periodic table the way that it works is it's actually vertical they're grouped together vertically okay it's not there there are some um, parts that are actually meant to design to be horizontal but it's for the most part it's um, vertically and by the way the halogen is like fifth from the right I believe so the reason they're all grouped together is because the, the chemical has seven electrons around it okay so the body thinks that it's the same thing now let's go a bit deeper in this everyone is basically iodine deficient there's no iodine in our, di in our diet yet we're designed um, to function our hormones are di designed to function of iodine let me explain your thyroids run off iodine okay they need iodine to function so when you're deficient, what your the role of your thyroids, by the way, is to control all of the hormones in your body. It's like the conductor. Okay, so you've got all you've got insulin, which is is for sugar. Um, you've got obviously um, cortisol, which is for adrenaline and stress, the fight or flight method. So people go, oh, I'm gonna like address the you know I'm, I'm gonna address the, the fight or flight method, but they're not thinking about what actually controls that method. What literally controls it is your thyroid glands, and it's a gland. A, you want to be, if you want to fix this, you should be eating more seafood, seaweed, take iodine supplements, and going for swims in the ocean, okay? Iodine. People are very deficient in it. They need more of it. Um, the thing is, when you're deficient in iodine, um, the, I spoke about the seven electrons around those bromine and all that. All the other ones are toxic. Iodine's fine. Bromine, fluoride's toxic. That's in tap water and sh showers, obviously, as well. So when you have showers and you breathe that in, and, you're, and if you're deficient in iodine, by the way, um, your body will bring in the bromine, which is from antidepressants, and um, there's not bromine in tap water. Is, you know, there used to be a lot, but not anymore. But there's fluoride in tap water. It will bring that in, and it will. It's, it, it's like kicking out the good conductor for your hormones and bringing in like me. And like I have no fucking clue what I'm doing conducting. I'd just be like, you know, pretending to look good, 
and the the orchestra would start messing up. You know, the bass would play out of time, the percussion would, would come in at the wrong time, the cellos would be out of tune, it would be a mess. And so, you know, it's, it's a good metaphor, I think, is it sounds bad, right? Tonight, so your body's like, eh, 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 something's wrong. We're talking about testosterone, estrogen, hormones are huge in your body. So if that's out of whack, your ability to um, basically keep your body alive, the autonomic nervous system is going like this. So of course your ears would ring. So if you start drinking tap water, you're, you're worsening that. You're really worsening that. And you need to take iodine supplements. I recommend a company called Standard Process. They have a supplement called um, a prolamine iodine. Now, disclaimer, I've never taken prolamine iodine, okay, but I'm going to get some. But I've had other people take it and they've had great results with it. I'm talking about people who get tinnitus from prescription medication. They've had great results with it, okay? So that's why you shouldn't drink tap water. I really suggest that the guy left that comment, the girl left that comment, just try it out. Go get some iodine, start eating more seafood, and hopefully it will help. You can always contact me. Um, I'm sure you follow my YouTube channel, obviously, so you, you'll be able to know how to contact me. But I want to do one more thing as well, and that is that this is not about proving um, that these people are rude or they shouldn't do it. I made a YouTube channel. I put myself out there. You can say what you want. I can say what I want. It's the way the world works, and I'm glad it works that way. But here's what I want to do is everyone who I've ever helped get rid of tinnitus. If you're watching this video right now, if I've helped you get rid of tinnitus, if I've made it better, this is just to motivate people to give them the belief that there's hope out there and that there is a method to getting rid of tinnitus. I want you to please comment below and just if, leave a brief story or you can say it helped me or just say uh, blah 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 I did this and it helped and I heard silence for the first time. Even if it's fluctuating or you follow my guide and it got better or you did one thing and it got better, just comment below. It's not about making me look good. I don't care. That's why I showed you that people were talking shit about me. I don't care. All I care about is that people understand that there's hope because I know what it's like to live with tinnitus. I fucking know what it's like and you just want your life back. And for these people to go out and categorize people who have hope as normies is disgusting. It is nothing short of sick. I don't know what you're thinking. You should really reconsider your position on this and just maybe look for research yourself. And do, I, I tell you guys, I've told you guys this before, but if you want to find help on tinnitus, you don't look for tinnitus help. You've got to look at the body holistically, like I just explained with the iodine. And there's heaps more information like that. So once again, um, I hope that explains and just gives you hope. Those guys, if you want to keep posting shit, go for it. But please rethink your standpoint on telling other people that they're wrong before you know, you've even seen any proof or anything like that. Julian Cohen Hill, who I, is, I see as one of like the godfathers of, of getting rid of tinnitus, because he gives people hope. That's what he's really, really good at, okay? He's really good at it. He's really good at, his methods obviously work. I don't care what the methodology is that anybody has. I couldn't care less. If it works, it works. That's the thing. You could sacrifice a lamb and pour the blood over you. If it, if it gets rid of your tinnitus, it gets rid of the tinnitus. Who gives a fuck? You could do a handstand for 25 minutes a day. If it gets rid of tinnitus, it gets rid of tinnitus. Okay, I don't give a shit, but Julian Cohen Hill is so good. He's one of the guys who got me started in the first place. He was a big inspiration for me. Um, and he has a video where he says, um, stop telling people there's no cure for tinnitus. But one of his more recent videos is he says he wants to make his YouTube channel a safe place for people to come who are worried about the rest of their lives, right? Who are young and at whatever age. And he says, if anyone posts any bad comments or anything negative, please let him know and he'll delete it. And I think that's an absolutely fantastic idea. I mean, now what he's not doing is he's not going through and deleting people with different opinions about what might work. That's not what he's doing. What he's doing is he's getting rid of people who say like, this is bullshit or like this is a scam because there's no, that doesn't add anything. It doesn't add to the discussion. If somebody says, hey, Julian, or hey, Liam, I you had this cool idea. I tried this new thing. People comment that stuff on my YouTube channel and I go look it up. And I, t I, I tell them, you know, they're like, hey, Liam, like I, I got this new fasting idea. I'm going to do this. I'm like, go do it. Go do it and just and spread it with the, with the world. That's the main goal of this. So finally, once again, please, if you could take a moment, if only if I've helped you, Okay, if it not made you feel good, but if it actually helped your tinnitus, um, I'm talking about hope here, I'm talking about um, real tangible results, lessening in your ears, even for if it's for a day or permanently a little bit, please go ahead and comment below just to give other people motivation. So I hope this has given you guys a bit more hope. I hope it's helped you understand the situation where I'm coming from um, and talk soon.